I don't know if you had a chance to watch my previous video where I entered into a competition and the outcome didn't go quite my way. This video is going to be a bit different. Let's get into it. So I want to express to you some very exciting news for me. I probably put it in the title, I don't know at this point yet, but I entered into two competitions this well, February and it was one competition was for a company. They needed a logo to go on their website and just things that they needed to do. And I, I, I'm i new to graphic design. I'm an artist, a visual artist. I've been, that's my phone. <laughs> I've been drawing for years, but I'd never really created logos specifically for a business. And I decided I, I wanna get, give this a shot because I work for the company and I really want to test out the graphic design skills that I've been learning at Prince George's Community College. So from then I made a, you know, I'm like, okay, what do I do? I'm like, we had to use all of their colors. They gave us the color scheme and then what the company's about. And well, the one thing that stood out to me was community. And I wanted to make a logo that represented community, inclusion, and Dis community and disability inclusion and if you see just the process of what I've done I went through lots of different options on how to get this about but just it all came together I don't want to show the initial logo right now because it's still in the making and still in the process and once it is finalized for the company then I will present that to you in a future video but for now I'm still working out the kinks and getting it together with the um, company and I'm just really excited because there were lots of people who and well I wouldn't say lots but the few people who entered into the a logo competition well it wasn't a competition it was more like a hey we're you know looking for logos put your name in the hat and the best logo wins and I really was not expecting to win mostly because I got the opportunity to see the other logos and they were really beautiful and I'm like I don't know I said if I said in my mind I said Lord if I win this logo it's literally you your hand on my life and they must see something that you see and I wait we waited I wait well they deliberated and I waited and they got back to me congratulations you your logo was chosen and I was like what oh I really couldn't believe it but I was very oh let me tell you after the time I had with that competition that I lost, the hearing that news was like a breath of fresh air. And like I said, there was another competition I entered also in the February, but we had from, I believe, the last week of December or the first week of January all the way up to February, the end of February to submit your entry, and I submitted a drawing. It's a 25, 24, this is a 24 by 13, no, what, what is this? I forget the dimensions, but it's pretty large drawing, as you can see, compared to like the pencil size, and just compared to the iPhone. I'm excited, I have two competitions that I'm entering in, and this is going to be entered, so I'll, I'll take you along the process as I finish this drawing. And in this particular drawing, I've been working on actually since 2021, <laughs> but I took a break and I wasn't working on it consistently. And when this competition that I've entered before, I've entered a previous drawing and I did get first place in that one too. So I was, I said, okay, when they got back to me and said, we're doing the competition again, I said, this is my shot to finish this drawing. And from, I want to say from January 
maybe the last week of December, I just was working nonstop. The drawing, I want to say, was halfway done. And I was like, okay, I, I think I can do this. Give myself two months, a little under two months. This is getting done, whether whether I like it or not. I'm, I'm getting this done, so I work tirelessly. I really love just the detail that I put in this drawing. I made sure, like, I gotta get everything because I really want to win this competition. So I submitted that and I waited because that's all you can do is wait. The same day I received the previous notification that I won the logo competition, an hour later I get a letter in the mail saying congratulations you've won. They put the check and in the mail and everything. And I'm like, what? Now I'm like, to get you won in the same day, different competitions, both huge crash, big crash prizes. I, uh, mm, mm -mm. I was just thanking God and even I think I had was it a Wednesday well anyway I know I went to church and I was just praising God because it's after the time I had like I said with that other competition the outcome that I had wanted to happen didn't happen but just to know that these competitions that I entered again like I said I'm putting myself out there I'm not giving up I won such a blessing and it goes to show never give up no matter what your ability is whatever your disability is however you define yourself don't give up and if you don't know how to define yourself I would say find your identity in Christ because that's what I did and though I might have ups and downs like I said in my last video you win some you lose some that's life and I'm grateful that I could that I get to experience life in this manner, it's all my faith and I'm hopeful. And I know my last video was a story of stress, but this is a story of rejoicing because two competitions down, first place, winner, it's like that. <laughs> so thank you all for watching, till next time. Thank you.